All right. Well, strap in, everybody. This is going to be a long, long video. I'm going to try my best to make it short, but every time I say that, I end up not doing it. So I'm not really going into this with much hope, but you know, we have a lot of information to present today. It's a very exciting day. It's a very exciting video. The Dauntless Shop is ready to relaunch. Depending on the day that I release this, I'm hoping to get it done today, which is Thursday. Uh, but you know, my kids are sick. My wife is sick. I, everybody, everybody's sick in the house. I think I'm finally starting to get it too, which is <clears throat> just starting to drive me crazy. So this video may not go out till tomorrow, Friday, but no matter what, the Dauntless shop is opening Friday. So I'm gonna go over that later in the video. I got my little, I got my notes. Got my notes right here to try to keep me on track. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go over each of the products real quick. I'm not gonna have time to do any demos. I'm gonna do that actually in, in videos that are coming later, but I'm gonna give you guys kind of an overview, let you see what it looks like inside the jar and, and kind of highlight some of the changes. And then we're gonna go over some information kind of from the last video and uh, and talk about some some new stuff talk about a giveaway we're gonna be doing a giveaway in this video so make sure you watch the entire thing we are doing a giveaway and as usual too for vid longer videos like this here on the channel i'm gonna put the the notations the timestamps in the description so you can kind of bounce around if you need to but first we are going to start by going over all of the products i mean all together we've got 11 now I mean, it started off with just a couple and the grooming oil, it's grown a lot. And we actually have two more, come, three more, three more coming in this, in just a couple of weeks. We just ordered some packaging for the new ones and I'll go over that too. But first let's start with the Dauntless Pomade. So this one here is one of the first ones that I made and I was really excited about it. The updates that we've done is we've made this vegan. So by, and, and what we did to make it that way is we removed beeswax. I think I talked about this in the last video, but beeswax wax would, was becoming kind of an issue for us uh, logistically logistically it, it was becoming harder to source from really reliable places and we were noticing the quality just was kind of going downhill and that's actually going to be the same for all the jarred stylers anyway we replaced beeswax with rice bran wax which we found just performed better both in the formula in the hair and endurance wise it was it's actually very close to beeswax but i think there's some better benefits to it so we we went through and we replaced beeswax in every single product that had it in it with rice bran wax we also dropped the candelilla wax because we found that the rice bran mixed with like microcrystalline and really performed just as I wanted it to. It, wor it worked out really well. But the pomade, what we did, we I got some feedback, you know, like a year ago that said people really would like to have some more shine in the pomade. So what I did was I increased the hold a little bit, leaving it in the realm of firm, but I just wanted to make it more present. And then what I did was I made the shine medium. And how I did that was I pulled out the bajillion oils that were in there previously, and we then chose to infuse it with the grooming oil from the line. So what's in the bottle here is inside this pomade. And my thought process on that was going back to what I originally made this pomade for, which was I wanted it to do some work while it was sitting on your head, well, while it's in your hair. I wanted it to do some work. So while it's there, it's using the grooming oil's benefits to hydrate, restore, nourish your scalp, do all this amazing stuff in your hair. So that was that's pretty much the pomade. And again, we're gonna have demos and stuff like that in individual videos for you guys. Moving on to the wax cream. So the wax cream got that beeswax rice bran swap. From there, we didn't really do a whole lot. I wanted to make sure it was still very natural in the hair. I wanted to make it a little more creamier. I wanted it to still have that very waxy presence though. I think this one has been tough for me as far as relating to people because they go into it thinking that this is a pomade or this is like a styling cream because it says wax cream on it. Really at its core, this is still a, a hair wax. It's it's waxy. It's dry. It is it's it's something that's meant for a very specific purpose. I, I forgot to mention with the pomade too that each one has its own color. 
So each one has its own color. And that color, I wanna to mention too, that color can vary a little bit based on the batch size. It just means that that's how that hand, that small batch came out. Of course, we're always trying to go for consistency, but you know, sometimes it can vary just like with other handcrafted products. Moving over to, I think I'm gonna save that one for last. Let's do the matte pay since that one is one that you guys are familiar with. This one here, we kept the hold strength as firm we did the matte finish of course we did the updates with the the beeswax to rice brand it's still got that nice textured finish in the hair it's still got that really nice dry texture that uh, that people loved about the matte paste it's just a little slicker i think it's just a little a little creamier and that's from that rice brand it really gives it a really nice creamy consistency i think so i think you guys we'll find the biggest update being like usability and application. I think that'll be the biggest thing with the, the matte paste. That leaves us with the two new products. I'm gonna start first with the gel pomade. I was very hesitant to go all in on a gel pomade because I found, I, I you know, I don't use gels a whole lot except for when I'm testing for the channel and I just felt that they were very basic and and you know I don't want to just come out with something for this lineup unless I can really put my spin on it unless I can make it my own and so I had to get to a point where I felt like I could do that and that's what I, I think we did very well with this gel pomade here this one is unlike and, and, and I know hold on I know YouTube speak, YouTube sales talk. This is unlike any any other gel I've seen. That's not just BS, that's not just sales talk. This really is, I mean, just take a look. You, you can just look at it and see that it's pretty much unlike most other gels out there. You know, it doesn't have that glossy, clear look to it. It doesn't have all that. This is like a combination, honestly, of a gel pomade and a styling cream. It's like if you take a gel and you, you cream creamified it i don't know cr made it creamy it's very different which again was my goal i didn't want to just come out with something generic i wanted to do something with my own little spin on it and in working with cody wade branson who is my manufacturer now he uh, he and i came together on this and i think it really came out the exact way i pictured it in my head something completely oddball completely out of left field but still worked really well this can go in dry hair it can go in damp hair whatever you want you know I, I loved styling and dry hair so i wanted to make sure it had that but i know some of you like towel dry hair it definitely worked in that too the next new one we have here the heavy clay this is probably the number one requested product that i've got since i opened the shop it's just every it seemed like every couple of months i would just be hit up by random people hey when are you going to come out with a heavy clay hey let's see a heavy clay Again, I, I needed to find my path with it. I needed to find a way through that kind of made sense to me because I am a big fan of heavy clays. You guys know I love heavy clays. So that means if I was going to make something, it needed to have a seat at the table. It needed to perform, it needed to be a heavy clay that actually people would like. So the approach that I took with the heavy clay, I, and again, working with Cody Wade Branson, was instead of it being super tacky and sticky, I wanted it to be very thick. And the other thing too I wanted was I wanted to be able to scoop it out. I wanted to be, I didn't want it to be a knuckle buster. So you can see here, you take a scoop out, it, it you can get it out, it's not gonna fight you too hard. It is somewhat thick, but when you get it out of the jar, it breaks down nice and creamy and then it goes right into the hair. So next, we're going to move on to the texture powder. This one, we, we did some very minimal changes to it from the previous one. The reason the other one actually went away for a bit had to do with packaging. We were having some trouble getting those bottles and actually you know, having it made up at the warehouse. And so what we decided to do was change the packaging. So what we have now is a nice one ounce jar and it's got this flip top cap to it. And what you do then, it gives you the ability to just pop open the lid and sprinkle it into your hair as needed. That's the texture powder. That's everything we did to that. Moving over now to the styling foam. This one is very easy. We didn't do any changes. We didn't do any changes formula wise to the styling foam. It is the exact same as it was. Same bottle, same foaming head, same formula, same color. The only thing that you'll notice as different would be the uh, clear label. That's basically it. So it fit within the line. Other than that, no other changes. There's also in that same regard, no changes really to 
The grooming oil, we still have the same three scents, bay rum, cucumber mint, and the fearless cologne. I mean, they are in the same bottle, same formula, same price, the only same size. The only thing that's really different is the labels. So we had the labels redesigned so that they fit within the branding of the line. So basically that that's it. Lastly, we've got Tribute, the sea salt spray. Once again, the Tribute pomade has been pulled for now not due to any problem there wasn't and i'm probably still going to come out with small batches of that like i explained in the previous video i just wanted to make a revamp to the tribute and actually make it an entire line versus having just one pomade and so this this is the beginning of that what i'm going to do is hopefully have several tribute products that come out right around my brother's birthday every year in march so what we have here is visible texture that's what came out the first thing very nice visible texture the second thing i want to do this is the part where i say i put my own spin on it i gave it a great deal of hold you don't usually see that in sea salt sprays you usually see it in like pre-style sprays or texture sprays this here's different you see it's very different it's got that texture that you want from the sea salt that beachy sea salt texture what we did was we put that hold in there so that it doesn't go away it stays you can actually feel the texture and the hold and you can feel it in a big way i think though that is the entire line and stop no it's actually not all of them i can't believe i forgot the beard balm in my attempt to get through this real quick i completely left it out and this is definitely one balm that shouldn't be left out this is another product that i went in on to solve a problem that i've seen with others in the past that was mainly that other beard balms require a hammer and chisel to get the product out it's absolutely insane this one here is the complete opposite it's super creamy it's very easy to work with it works really well in the beard shaping it up getting it hydrated and treating the skin underneath your beard it also features the fearless cologne as well so your beard not only looks great but it smells great too okay now we're really done I think though that's the entire line that is the that's the entire line that's close-ups and a little explanation behind each product real quick I'm gonna go over we have new bundles on the site styling bundles what i did was i made combinations out of the lines like pre-style combinations and texture combinations of products that worked really well together and i put them on the shop so you can actually get them and save money speaking of money we went over pricing on the last video it got some mixed responses i understand that i kind of anticipated it i, I understand where some people are are coming from you know i had some messages where people were like hey you're going from four ounces to two ounces you know you should be able to sell them for half the price because it's half the product i understand where you're coming from i actually was there myself when i first sat down to do this you know with the warehouse i'm like hey so half the product half the price we can we can cut production costs by half right and you know it, you guys should have heard the laughing that came out of that conversation i can still i can still hear it in my head if you know if i really it, it was bad it's true that you're using half the product but what that translates to is basically pennies savings because the packaging guys don't care that you're going from four ounces to two the lid same thing then when it comes to manufacturing the employees that are working on your stuff they're not gonna go down in price because you're doing two versus four you still got to pay them a fair wage no matter what they're still making the same amount of product they're just filling two ounce jars instead of four so every step of the way you're basically paying the same amount once again i was highly advised to either charge 19 for these like they were with the four ounce jars or raise them up based on how they look, you know, call it a premium brand and raise it up to 21, 22, 23. And I did not choose to do that out of some big favor to you guys or because I'm looking to get some kind of uh, applause from you guys as subscribers. The answer to why I didn't do that is much more basic. You see the thought of doing that, it gave me anxiety. It made me feel terrible. I couldn't, I, I just, I, I kept thinking about how I would have to go on camera and say these cost $23 or $21 or even 19 and being smaller, it, it, it gave me so much anxiety that I just, I, I couldn't even go there. I couldn't do it. That's, that's the, that's the God honest truth. So that's, so that's literally it. They are 16. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is shipping. It's about four bucks. We, we can't get out of it. Can't get out of shipping. 
we use small boxes. We try to get deals with the, the packaging and posting people. Shipping is what it is. It's gone up because of gas prices. It's gone up, you know, everything else has gone up. I get it. Shipping is one thing that I can't really avoid. What I do have though is a discount code. I, I made the discount code the same as what it was for the previous shop, MMTV. This is for you guys, my subscribers. If you put that code in there, you will save some money and it will take some off the total, including that shipping price. So make sure you do use that discount code. That will work. I will put it in the description. It will always work. I will never turn it off. I will never change it, lower the percentage. It will always work for anything on the shop, even the already discounted bundles. Lastly, this is the last thing because we're already at like, what, 30 minutes now. The last thing I'm going to talk about is a giveaway. I'm going to select five people from the comment section and I'm going to give you guys, all five of you, a product of your choice. You can pick any product from the lineup and I will send it to you free of charge, including shipping. And I'm going to open this up to anybody in the world. Anybody in the world can comment. Just comment like I always do all my giveaways the same exact way. Comment where you're watching from. Comment what your favorite, what product you want to try if you win. Throw it in the comment section. I will pick five random people in one week and I will contact you directly, get your address, and you can tell me if you know if that's your product, you change your mind, whatever. Pick a product, I will send it to you completely free of charge. I also want to let you guys know that I, I'm going to be trying to give back to my customers as much as possible every single month. This is something I did before the rebrand that I'm gonna continue to do. I'm Every month I'm going to pick random orders and I'm gonna refund them. Every month I pick a couple. I've always done this. This is something that I, I just wanna do. I enjoy it. It's something I don't talk about a whole lot. I'm talking about it here just to let you guys know that I am going to do it. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna announce who I refunded. I'm just gonna pick a random people, pick a random person, their order, and I'm gonna refund it. That's it. The last giveaway I'm going to do is because this is a momentous occasion, this is the rebrand, the relaunch. I'm actually, I've actually had to go back. I went back and looked. I actually found the first customer of Dauntless. I went back and searched and found the very first customer. His name was Eric Meridian. I don't know if you're a subscriber or you're watching this video. Uh, I hope you don't mind me putting your name out there. Uh, I don't know him personally. I want to add that too. He's, he's not a personal friend or anything like that, but he's an awesome person because he was our very first customer. I went back and searched, you bought the pomade when the shop first opened and you are our very first customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate your first order and I'm going to send you, I'm going to go in, um, I'll contact you first, make sure the address is still good, but I'm going to send you a pomade because that's what you first ordered. And I just appreciate that so much that I, I just want to want to do that. So thank you all for watching this video. I know it was long, got a lot of information, skip through as needed. I really appreciate all the support with the Dauntless lineup. It will go live. I want to say 4 p.m. Friday, the 21st of October. It will be live. We have stock. I want to add in real quick, give us an extra week for fulfillment. That's just the warehouse getting everything rolling. So for just the launch, give us about a week to get your order out and then they'll they'll update it as usual. You'll get your tracking. And I really hope you guys enjoy the lineup. I hope you guys enjoy what we made here. I think you guys will. I'm very excited about it. Thank you again for watching this video and thank you again for supporting the Dauntless lineup. That's all I got for you today. Let me know what questions you got in the comment section. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do that. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.